Business is moving into the cloud. One by one, companies big and small are giving up on the old ways. It's a shift from the old IT legacy model to what we call cloud computing. The cloud holds a huge amount of potential for big business, for small business, for consumers. It is the big new exciting area of computing. The cloud may sound new and exciting, but it's the continuation of a very old trend. Business realised long ago that outsourcing equals massive savings. Why generate your own electricity when you can pay a utility company? Why run an in-house call centre when others can do it more cheaply? And what the cloud offers is the outsourcing of IT. This cargo company is beginning to see the light. Palex moves 8,000 pallets of goods each day and keeping track of them demands serious computing power. We can't afford for there to, to be a delay. The speed of the operation that it moves at means that information needs to move in real time and to be in real time, really, we need to be in an environment such as the web. The problem is that Palex is still relying on an in-house computer system which is almost as noisy as its warehouse. It takes a lot of energy and manpower to keep a place like this running. You can hear the servers whirring away in the background. The power that we draw into here is just a small component of what it takes to actually make this place run. I have one guy that's dedicated almost totally to this server room. It's his job on a daily basis to ensure that all of this lot keeps running. So we're actually going to scale this right back down now. To save money, Palex's engineers are unplugging these servers. But how is that possible? Currently, the computers and smartphones used by Palex staff all connect to its basement server room. But the company has started to redirect its data through the internet to an outside company in the cloud. We want to uh, talk about the Unified Commons product launch. Responsibility for that now lies 100 miles away with this man. Piers Linney founded Outsourcery, a cloud company which charges a monthly subscription for its services. So Palex is like most companies. The, most companies have a common IT and comms infrastructure. So they need phones on desk, they need to have email, they need to have somewhere to store their documents, they need somewhere to back those documents up. So we provide all of that for them and they need to have no infrastructure at all. Cloud computing has been popular in the consumer world for a decade. Web applications like Hotmail, Facebook and Flickr are all proof that the cloud works. So why have businesses been slow to catch on? Microsoft is becoming one of the world's biggest cloud providers and it thinks much of the delay is due to security fears. So it's spent billions turning its data centers into digital fortresses to safeguard personal and commercial data. When you don't have the physical kind of proximity of your system in your office with your data, then obviously it's a concern. But from the very kind of physical infrastructure of the buildings and the servers all the way through to the delivery of the service, security is something that we take incredibly seriously as part of this kind of delivery from the cloud. As far as Palex is concerned, the advantages of the cloud outweigh any risks. The company is saving over £50,000 a year by working this way. And in addition to cutting costs, it's seen other benefits too. Instead of laying off IT workers, the company has redeployed them on some more interesting projects, including getting the company's operations to run from an iPad. They'll have the devices under their arm, regardless if they're at home or in the warehouse. It won't matter because the, the information will be available wherever they are. This is the next chapter for business in the cloud. Workers sharing and collaborating from any device, anywhere. And as companies recognise its power, the cloud will grow. It's predicted to triple in size by 2013. By then, the world of computing and the world of business could look very different.